Welcome to Cotter, Arkansas, tucked into the hills and hollows of the Ozark Mountains and surrounded by famous tailwaters, highly regarded lakes and a host of lesser known waters. The White River and Norfolk Tailwater might be world renowned for their trophy brown trout, but the diversity of freshwater species throughout the Ozarks is at the heart of this unique event, the very first Dally's All Species Odyssey. Hi, my name is Paul Port, the uh, fisheries management biologist with the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission over the warm water, and I'm going to be the judge today for this all species artist. Uh, so we got everything under the sun to fish for in this, this area, from stripers to uh, bluegill, uh, hybrids, and gar, and carp, and uh, trout. When I heard about it on social media, it sounded like the most interesting challenge uh, that, that could be provided in the area. All right, I'm Daniel Roberts. Uh, I'm the Sims rep for this area. So the cool thing about this tournament is that in our part of the country, I don't think a lot of the warm water species get a ton of love. Within 30 minutes of this shot, you can really, you can really catch 20, 20 to 30 different species of fish on fly rods. So. And I am a sloppy fly fisherman, but I thought this is something I can handle because I just have to catch one. It doesn't matter what it looks like, but I think I can. <laughs> I got the bluegill covered. <laughs> yeah, we, we brought a jet boat and a canoe, and we're just, we're going we're gonna to take a swing at every wet spot we find. So. 11 teams have 15 hours to catch, document, and release as many of the 30 target species as they can. Most species wins. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, oh, three miles away. All right. Put that camera up. We gotta go. Oh, you back in? Hey, if you back into it, he won't be able to use it. Oh. Where's the nearest city park? Yeah, with a pond. We're we're gonna we're googling that right now. It didn't take long for scores to start rolling in. High water levels meant most of the lake accesses were unfishable, sending the pros to a community pond. Oh man, I haven't fished a pond in 10 years. So we were so confident in this pond that before we ever started fishing, we stopped and had fried chicken in the parking lot. Didn't even string our rods. We're, we're thinking that, you know, you go to a pond and, and you're like 10 years old. You go to a pond and you just hammer all the fish you want to hammer. Um, yeah, it turns out it's not always the case. Because <laughs> we're getting our butts handed to us right now. You're not 10 years old anymore. Right? We're not 10 years old. We're three times that. Four, four times that. Four, four times that. I'm married. There he is. It's a little better fish. How small was the other one? <laughs> I've never been so happy to catch two little bitty fish in my life. <laughs> Crooked Creek would be another popular venue, but under Odyssey rules, nowhere was easy, as misfit anglers found out. We had just went to the white and got our three species in no time, like an hour. So off to Crooked Creek we go to get our creek fish. I've never carried a net on Crooked Creek from Brim. The <laughs> things the Odyssey does. We was getting them, baby, Probably. I mean. Our first warm water species, a long ear sunfish. We're gonna leave that hook in just in case he tries to get away. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone counts. This is our first time fly fisherman uh, coming and getting in on the game. Off to cross the river and finish up, we go to go to the carp hole. <laughs> As we make it to the other side to, to go to our carp hole, uh, I then realized that my phone has gotten wet on the swim across the river and we've lost everything. Every like, picture we had. Misfit anglers would finish the day with only three fish on the scoreboard and a whole bunch of work to go and do again. Team NWA with a clear leader. Two ahead of Team DC, two more ahead of the young Arkansas fly fishers. 
and then there were the rest of the pack. Oh, we had so much fun. Oh, our boat broke down the day before the tournament. It broke my boat by hitting a rock. <laughs> what happened? We have to do something else. We're in third place. Team BC were also at Norfolk early. Hunting the tailwater trout they needed to chase down Team NWA. The heat of the day wasn't the only thing making the team NWA boys sweat. They had spent a fishless morning on Bull Shoals Lake and had now returned to the pond. This whole pond thing is taking me back to high school. It's the biggest one of the day, there's no doubt about that. I think I'm going to join the, the FLW tour with this kind of caliber. <laughs> and then it was over. And back at the shop, time for telling tales. Stay out of the gate. First 10 minutes we were in the water. We caught two, two and thought we had a nice small mouth and a um, uh, sunfish. sunfish and um, thought, okay, we're, we've got this figured out. Uh, you got, you got two 60 year old fat guys in a canoe with a 50 pound dog. We, we just had issues. <laughs> we had a lot of we issues. We had some water issues. <laughs> I had to float down for the, with the cooler for a while. <laughs> Uh, we lost two rods in the tree and I had to go fight the rapids and get those. I was laughing so much the third time we jumped, yeah. which was actually no more than two feet from the second, second place we jumped. <laughs> and, there, and the bank was pure slick mud, so we kept slipping and falling in the river. It was only one beer in the, co in the canoe and it spilled. <laughs> The only person, the only uh, animal who laughed the whole time was Bella the Wonder Dog. Yeah. She thought it was pretty funny. We did. We had a blast. We covered lots of water too. And I'm new. I've never been up here in this part of Arkansas before. So I've got a place in Colorado, yeah. but it's totally different fishing. Smaller fish, you know, just different kind of streams. Yeah. Not as much variety yeah. of fish and all that. So, oh, it's gorgeous. I mean, even if we didn't fish, just to sit there and kayak down the creeks and experience. I would. Oh, we're already planning next year. But, but our strategy is going to be much different. Well, we were fishing on Crooked Creek, and uh, my cheek just started feeling numb. I guess something bit me, a teetsy fly or something. And this is a day later, and it's gone down quite a bit, but it was blowing up pretty good. Yeah, little beer, little uh, Crooked Creek water, too, seemed to help, but... I don't know, I may not go back to that place. That was the fishing. Fishing was good. It was fun. Uh, very humbling. <laughs> we drove about 30 minutes to Norfolk Dam and then come to find out that we don't have the, the slip the thing, the Odyssey slip. Where is that? It <laughs> flies everywhere. This tournament has got us. It's got us all oh. the Yeah. So then we had to drive all the way back, 30 minutes, went to our cabin. We noticed they had a pond there, um, saw a carp, and then it ate this hopper. And you can see that the hook bent. Uh, sadly, we couldn't get the fish because it was at the uh, campground pond, but it's, uh, we still did pretty good and we had a good time. If, um, if we didn't have this contest, we probably wouldn't have caught the flathead catfish, the smallmouth, we probably just would have trout fished. We broke, broke a net. We broke a rod, a net, ruined a pair of $70 pants, and lost the phone. This is Jacob's first time fly fishing. Like me and Jacob have been out once together before. He caught a couple of the harder fish. I didn't have to go catch the biggest brown trout in the river. Right. We just had to go catch brown trout. You know, we didn't have to go catch the biggest smallmouth. So that made it where anybody can do it. The species tournament, that allows everybody to be a part. So the winners 
and just about, I think everyone knows who they are right now, uh, virtually blend all the way through. Um, 11 species, brown trout, rainbow, cutthroat, smallmouth bass, largemouth, bluegill, long ear, red ear, grass cut, red horse sucker, and long nose jar. Ah! They almost landed a five foot paddlefish, which wouldn't have counted at all. Worth <laughs> <laughs> it. Jackson and Dan Roberts. Well played. Well played.